What's up guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to enhance your stream with a nice clean chat box like this one with the semi-transparent background that makes that white font pop out really nicely, almost appearing as if it was straight out of a Twitch chat. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before we get started, I am going to let you know I do stream on Twitch as Disciple Live on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday nights. Come hang out. We have a really positive and active community, and we'll talk about comic books and cats, probably. So the first thing that we're going to do here is go to Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're a regular OBS user, that's fine. This video is still for you, and you'll be able to use this chat box with regular OBS. But for the sake of creating the chat box, you will be needing at least a Streamlabs account. So keep that in mind as we go forward here. So next we're gonna go to the sources column and click the addition button. And then we're gonna go under widgets and click chat box. Now for the sake of this video, I will be creating a new source that's called chat box for video. And I think I created one by mistake too. So I'll just put a number two by there. I'm gonna click the add source button and then we're going to go to the window that allows us to customize our chat chat box so um the first thing that we can do is change up our theme i'm going to keep mine at twitched but they do have other themes that you can kind of select and see if um they fit your liking this one's called boxed and then there's another one that's called old school i think it's a little bit more pixelated looking yeah and indeed it is um, but for the sake of this particular video making it look more like a twitch chat in our actual scene, I'm going to switch it back to Twitch. Now, don't pay any attention to this background color here, guys. That won't actually show up when you're broadcasting. It's just for the sake of this particular preview. And then the font should be white. If it's not white, I'd recommend making it white just for the sake of having it pop out. Because when you have a darker colored text, oftentimes that can get um, muddled by the other colors that are in your scene so i'd recommend having a white you might say well what if i have a white wall or a white background well we're gonna get to that that's the whole point of having a semi-transparent background right um so the next thing that we're gonna do guys is in order to make this more like an actual twitch chat uh, we're gonna switch this from a square 600 by 600 to more of a rectangle so we're gonna actually change it to about 400 by 800. there we go so that's the actual rectangle that we want to see in our particular scene. So we're going to end it from there. Click done. Now, again, if you are a regular OBS user, you're going to go ahead and have to go to uh, your Streamlabs dashboard, and then you're going to have to click all widgets, click the chat box widget, and then you'll go ahead and copy this link. And then when you go to actual the actual regular OBS, you're going to click browser source and add that link in there. And then you can edit the dimensions and everything from there. Okay. So keep that in mind if you're a regular OBS user. So we have our chat box right here. It's full of my hype emotes just out of convenience because I can press it on my stream deck. But for the sake of having some text in there, I'll just go ahead and say, hello, how are you? So as you can see, there's white font there, but the issue in lies when you have a white background or you're playing a game and the background is white. Your font isn't going to pop out as nicely as you'd like it to pop out, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to have a semi-transparent background that'll make the white text pop, but at the same time, you'll be able to see what's happening behind it as well. So there's going to be two different ways to do this. The first is with Photoshop. I like using Photoshop. It's a lot easier. I would imagine most of you do too. Uh, but not everybody can afford Photoshop, right? The second way is going to be with 3D Paint. Don't worry. I know how that sounds. It'll look just as good as the one with Photoshop. It's just slightly more annoying. Okay, guys. So I just opened Adobe Photoshop. You'll go to File and then New. And then you have to set a canvas size, right? So we have a 400 by 800 chat box. I'm going to set my canvas size to 500 by 1,000 simply because I like to give it a couple hundred extra pixels that way it's not such a hard line and it gives it i don't know a little bit more of a cleaner look so i'm going to go ahead and click create and then we have this rectangle right ultimately we're going to want a semi-transparent background so i'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer for right now so we're going to be able to see a little bit more of what's going on and then we are going to go ahead and select the paint bucket tool and then we're literally just going to have a black background and then we're going to just make the entire thing black. The entire rectangle should be black. Um, from here, you're going to right click on the actual image. If you right click the layer, 
you can still click blending options, but I'm going to click the image, go to blending options, wait for that to pop up. There it is. And you're going to set the opacity from 100 all the way down to 20%. That's what I found that works best for me. You can adjust it however you like, right? But 20% works really well for me. Now that we can see it's um, tinted the black or the white background, um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this particular uh, background layer. So now we can see the transparent background. Um, it almost looks as though there is no you know, black film over it, but if we select the move, I, or move tool, obviously there's a clear difference there, right? So I'll put that back and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just save this as an image. I'll save it to my desktop for now, I suppose. And I'll save it under um, Twitch chat image. Save. Okay, so next, if you've already done this through Photoshop and you don't need to do it through Paint, go ahead and go to the description and you'll be able to skip ahead right to where we um, are implementing it within our actual scene in OBS. So whether you've skipped ahead or you've watched the entire thing just to know how to do it both ways, this is Paint 3D. Uh, this is exactly what you get as soon as you open it up. I believe it's like the free updated version of Paint that comes with like every single Microsoft Windows package. So go ahead and click new, right click on the canvas, go to canvas options. And if lock aspect ratio is checked, immediately uncheck that. And then you're gonna turn on transparent canvas and you're gonna change your width to 500 pixels and then your height to 1000 pixels. Then you're gonna go back to brushes. So we're gonna zoom out a little bit, just scrolling out with our mouse. There we go. And we're gonna click the paint bucket brush and we're going to change the opacity down to 20 percent click the black color and then just fill it in that's it that is perfect we are going to go ahead and save that to our desktop right now as an image and we'll save it as twitch chat image perfect so now that we've created and saved our image for the chat box background, we're gonna go ahead and get it implemented into Streamlabs OBS or regular OBS. Honestly, it's very similar between the two versions of the software, but I'm gonna open it up now, go to the sources column one more time, click the addition button, go to the image, add source. We're gonna add a new source. I'm just gonna call it chat box background. Add source browse we're going to go to our desktop i believe we named it twitch chat image there it is click done and we are going to drag it over to our chat box so two things that you're probably going to notice right off the bat one it's actually made the chat darker that's okay that's simply because it's not prioritized correctly within our sources column right so i'm going to go to our sources column drag the background behind the image or below the image and then you can see it obviously makes it pop a lot better the second thing that you're probably going to notice is that there's a lot of extra space over here right that's okay we did that on purpose making the 500 by 1000 pixel dimensions so we could show you how to uh, edit it directly in streamlabs obs so the solution is really simple essentially you just go to one of your corners over here with the mouse and then you see how it's scaling every single time I, I try to drag it hold down the shift button and then you can really make it whatever you want I like to add just a little bit of extra room on the sides but not too much because we want to make it look just like a regular twitch chat within our scene and that is how you add a background to your chat box so before we wrap this whole video up I am going to let you know one more time that I do stream on twitch as disciple live on Sunday Tuesday and Thursday nights come hang out it'll be a blast and with all that being said I hope that you like this video if you did hit that like button if you found this video helpful and you want to see more videos like it in the future hit that subscribe button because that really helps me out and until the next time I hope you all have a good one and I will see you in the next video take care guys that was a decent play call right there I'm pretty happy about it okay we're gonna try Salem again and oof okay we're gonna have to throw it over to Gallup no we're not okay oh my goodness the tackle breaks did you see that ladies and gentlemen